Seaboard Rice is such nice packaging. Look at that, it looks fantastic. Around the back, you've got some information here and it's showing you a presentation, including the fact that it works with Bluetooth. So what I wanna do is open it up and we're gonna take a look inside and um, just go turn it around here. It seems like I've gotta push the handle in, slide the, um, the sleeve off to get inside. And um, I love the kind of the dark, it almost feels like a bit of a, a James Bond kind of attache case um, with something interesting in it. So the Rolly logo there, and uh, I'm just gonna open it up and see what's inside. So just carefully opening it and I'm um, just gonna lift the lid. Ah, so um, that's a nice touch. There's a letter, um, hi there it says. And um, let's open it up and have a look and see what's going on. So. Nice, really like that little detail cut out R there. And um, signature of the person, um, the inventor of the Seaboard. So I really like that touch. It's great little kind of personal vibe. And um, like I said, this feels like some kind of espionage kind of vibe. Ah, oh, look at that, amazing. So um, yeah, just wanna push that back a bit. Um, it's springing forward. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. So impressive looking piece of hardware it's got a good weight to it and um, let's take a look around the back it really does feel like an expensive um, piece of kit so you get a good view of it there and the surface that feels weird um, but I tell you something I had to play around with it and once you get used to it it's an amazingly expressive instrument so big shout out to everyone down at Roly. Um, I went down there today. So look, um, that's the packaging with the software, I'm assuming. Um, MIDI lead, which actually, um, is that gold on the uh, the socket? Yeah, so gold plating. And um, let's take a look at what we've got inside. So CD sized um, documentation, nice and simple. A few little um, manuals and stuff here. And uh, let's focus on this quick start guide and take a look. So opening up and uh, a nice picture. Um, that wood kind of background as we saw on the packaging and information um, just really about setting up, registering, um, downloading the software, talking about the connections um, you're gonna make with it and also the fact it works with a Bluetooth, which I think is amazing. Just um, some spec about the actual controls and different modes, sockets um, that are available and the uh, fact you can connect up a quarter inch jack and um, then also you know caring for it so the guys have advised me to use um, baby wipes funny enough and uh, yeah that's about it so let's take a little flyover so you can get a closer look and now it's time to see what the thing can do okay so this is the synth and it's called equator it's been custom designed for the roly vries and i'm gonna just go through this and we're gonna start off um, with whatever is here I'm going to go through some presets. That's all I'm going to do really on this video and um, just explore what's going on. And here's the thing about this. Um, the position of your finger on this surface is something that determines the modulation. You've got to be really gentle with this thing. Um, if you're used to a normal keyboard, you might be like me, you bash really hard. So um, it's more about just kind of delicately um, working this surface. Okay, let's try another preset.
to tell you, there's something really expressive about this keyboard. Um, let me take it out of this and um, have a look at some sections. Um, let's go into mallets. And what have we got here? Okay, so look, this is one of the things about this. If you tap it on some sounds, the attack is gonna be fast. But if you just gently push it, see how the attack slows. things about this is, is that you really when you find a sound that you like it's like you've got to become intimate with it and start to um, kind of discover what it holds um, determined by the way you kind of caress this keyboard I know it sounds a bit weird but this thing's like silicon um, so it's almost like you have to kind of know how to work the instruments <laughs> And also this pad over here, this will modulate sound too. But literally, I'm just discovering this. I, I need to learn how to use this thing properly, all right? So maybe that one isn't connected. Um, not everyone uses every single one of these controls. That was interesting, the pad was working there. It reminds me of Pat Metheny. That's nice. So that would be really nice as a bass line. You could feel that it would really move 
um, move throughout a composition. Okay, let's go back to that. You know, in recent years, I've been wondering when we would get, through technology, the means to create something absolutely new. And I'm getting the feeling, playing around with this, that I'm going to have an instrument here that's going to allow me to explore some new ways of making music, some new sounds. And I'm going to spend some time learning this thing. Um, I think the sound design capabilities, particularly the fact that you can perform the sound, are incredibly exciting. So anyway, look, that's it for the moment. Expect some more videos from me about this thing soon. <laughs>